Hello everyone. So today we are going to see how we can execute the test case. So for that, you just need to come to the story because we have already added the test cases in the story. You just click on the story, go to the test case section, and now we have to execute one. So if you come to the test case section, you will see here one circle is coming and it says not executed. After that, there is an option of start a new test execution so you need to click on that it will open the pop-up window where it will ask some of the options that to whom you need to assign it to so you can assign it to the developer um, which is like in charge of that project then environment you can select and the test version you just do that and then click on start and when you do that you will be landing to a different section of a page where yeah, the test uh, execution is going to take place. So here you can see the testing. Uh, you, what you are doing is testing login module. This is the name we have given. Its key and uh, test case ID is given here. Its estimated time is given here. So we are going to execute it. So for that, here you can see these are the details we have already given or uh, before, you know, like when we are creating the test case at that point of time we can give or we can even ch change it here you just need to click on these options and you can change and if you go below you can see objective precondition details all the things which we have mentioned before is here you right now it says not executed and this is the time from where we can calculate our actual time because we have given the, the expected time if I click on this uh, this uh, watch, now it not executed is changed to in progress. And here you can see the actual time is calculating. I'll go below. And we have added, while we are creating the test cases, at that point of time, we have added the test script. So we have added all these test scripts. So according to our result, while we are testing the application, Whatever the result I'm getting, I need to add it in the actual results. Like, for example, as a user opening the login, um, opening the lo login, the login portal, and this is the uh, URL and what is my expected result. So, for example, my ex actual result and expected result are equal. So, I'll write here like portal is displayed. And because these both are equal, so my status will be passed. So here at the right corner, you will see the status. This one is passed. This one is failed. This one is blocked. If you go to these three dots, here you will get all the options. And last one with this, there are different options given here. So for example, I am just going to execute all. So I am writing my actual result here like result as ex expected. result as accepted and uh, pass and this one also like for example user is able to log in so so user is able to log in and now if i am going to pass this last test step also so overall my whole test case got passed and it cal calculated the time as well so if i go back Now you will see the difference here in that circle which was appearing before that was gray at that point of time because it is not executed. Now it is green because it executed successfully like your result got passed that's why. So in this way you can execute the test cases.